the morning. Um, so I am getting ready for church. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this hair. Um, this is a, like a week old, I need to wash it. I'll be washing it tomorrow. So after I washed it last week, I pretty much just gave my hair a break. I was just stretching it out, um, doing like a banding method. And then I just had it in two braids for the past two or three days. So I have a style in mind, but we'll see how that goes. It doesn't always work out that way for me. It usually turns into another style. All right, so the products I'm gonna be using is just my usual water, oil, I'm using olive oil today, and my um, Don't Shrink Flaxseed Gel by Aunt Jackie's. And <clears throat> I might use one of these. Excuse my voice, I don't know what's going on with my, my throat today. All right, so. I think I'm going to keep the part down the middle and um, probably braid it, not braid it, like flat twist it going back and just connect the braids to make it like a protective style. So let's see how that works out. to flat twist this hair because it's so <laughs> kind of matted up so I'm just gonna roll feeling it already but I'm just gonna do this side and see how it turns out so um, all right so I took the flat twist down I started to do this style and when I slicked up the front I noticed that it looks I think it looks better um, up so I'm not gonna do the flat twist I don't like how it looks so right now it's just up in a ponytail and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side.
to show you guys what I figure out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back. All I did was add my um, my scarf to lay the front down some more because it was starting to curl back up. So for the back, I think I'm going to do like a twist and crisscross thing. Let's see how that turns out. So you're just going to need a few bobby pins, hair pins, and I think I'm going to use this headband for the front. So you're just going to do like a, you don't want the twist to be too tight because you want it to be a little puffy. Twist it all the way to the end and then swing it across to the other ponytail and put it behind the hair and pin it. just in case. I don't want anything crazy happening. Alright. So you're just going to do the same thing on this side. and swing across and bobby pin to show you guys a little trick if you want to do your little swirls but my hair it shrinks up all the way so what I do is I add like these long bobby pins to put weight on it and then it doesn't take very long to dry probably like a minute or so and I just took the pin off of this one you can see it hangs and it's dry already so that's how you do it. If you want your curls to hang looser, if you have tight curls when they shrink up too much, just add the bobby pin to add weight to the curls and they should dry elongated. Alright, so for the top, I think it's pretty much done. And the hair still feels kind of wet so I'm gonna come back um, a little bit later to show you guys how everything looks all right see you all right so I'm back um, for some reason this one is not working the way it's supposed to but whatever If there's any hair sticking out, just pin it. And look at the back.
right, so let me just put up my headband and see. Hopefully that looks looks good with the headband. cover it for this style so it's just gonna have to stay so this is it let me see if I can try to fix this thing one more time it's always one side that wants to act funny it keeps sticking out for some reason 